Police back out at the scene of a crime today after a late night shooting sent two people to the hospital. It's our top story. Thanks for joining us here at six. I'm Craig McKee. I'm Tanya O'Rourke. Investigators say this started as an armed robbery at Douglas Park, and that is where WCPO 9 News reporter Valerie Lyons is joining us. Valerie, how many suspects are there? Well, Tanya, police believe there's at least two of them and a canine actually found a gun last night. Police believe it is a gun used in this shooting, which happened here in this area near the park splash pad, an area one neighbor tells me has long been a problem. Litter. Large crowds, blatant disregard for the rules. These are some photos snapped by a Minnesota street resident living right across from Douglas Park. She says she already deals with these daytime nuisances, and now she's adding a late night shooting to her list of concerns. The woman asked to not identify her. One of her neighbors had the same request, but they gave us a look at what their security cameras picked up. Douglas Park lit up in red and blue late Sunday night after an armed robbery ends in gunfire. Middletown police say they found two victims, both shot in the leg. They were hanging out when two people walked up to them demanding money. Police say the suspects opened fire before running off. I'm like, I'm not coming here at night. For Carrie Neal, it's scary to hear. He takes his granddaughter to the park to play, but now was it sad to hear that this is, you know, things like this are even happening in what is supposed to be a family friendly park? Oh, yeah, you should, you know, take them activities somewhere else. You know, you never know when there's going to be a kid out here or something. And it probably was kids out here. Police haven't yet released the age of the two victims, but police say their injuries aren't considered serious. It's unclear if there were more people in the park when the suspects pulled the trigger, but whether targeted or random. Is that disheartening to you? Yeah, because you never know when you're going to get shot. Now, the woman who shared those photos with us says typically these large groups do clear out when it gets dark, though a few people do still linger. She says she's filed several complaints with the city, and she is hoping this shooting helps to get more watchful eyes in the area. For now, live in Middletown, Valerie Lyons, WCPO 9 News.